and welcome back to the Red Booth Show. I'm here with the rock band Daphne's. Is that the correct way of describing you guys? Would you say you're a rock band? Yeah. Yeah. I would say so. When people ask, it's always like, what type of style are you? And I'm just rock. Yeah. Straight up. I'm tired of all the labels. Like, we're psychedelic funk that meets reggae a little bit in the middle. Like, <laughs> there's too many titles. Just rock. We're rock. There really are so many, like, genres now. Yeah. It's there? crazy. You go on any sort of, like, music site where you're defining your band and grunge but post grunge with like a hint of metal or you know weird stuff like just rock guys we're <laughs> rock <laughs> that's funny well it is very rock it's very good like heavy rock um and i think that you guys are in very good hands too with your new uh producer that you've been working with as well do you have another album that you're going to be working on next like you said you have a new song yeah is that a single or is that part of a new album so that's a single we've kind of been just releasing singles the last couple of songs yeah cool and then what we do with that when we have all those we'll figure out later but it's been kind of nice i feel like an album's hard to push when you're our size because it's hard to keep someone interested that long when you're like a new upcoming band but mm -hmm. with singles it's a little easier to like build hype around this one song with a good music video and yeah i think that a lot of people are doing that nowadays yeah it's yeah. kind of in the trend you don't see many people pushing albums really this new single that dropped and putting out a lot of singles as opposed to one giant album that everyone needs to listen to yeah but once you have so many cool songs together it's, you gotta yeah, release yeah. cool. yeah. an album I always thought that if you put out an album, yeah. it's like an experience, you know, you plan the songs where you're at, you listen to all of them, it's like a trip, you're, you're taking a trip with the album, Yeah. but people aren't doing that, because on iTunes you scroll through, click the ones you want, and that's it, you know, Spotify, you're going to click the song that you know is a hit, Yeah. and that's it, people aren't experiencing the album like they used to. And well, you know, what I've been doing recently is I've been going back to different bands that have been on my show and putting their albums up on my store, so I have like really? a website yeah. for the show, and I'm like you know, I want to sell your albums hey, because, thanks. well, yeah, also because I know that a lot of times, like, even when you're on Spotify, like, you get, like, a fraction of a fraction of a whatever, yeah. Yeah. and so many musicians out there don't get, don't actually make a good living, even though they're really good artists, and that's very sad to me, and I think a lot of the big bands um, even have to go and, like, tour, like, live and sell merch, but they don't get the money from the plays, like, the downloads yeah, and all that yeah. stuff, and so... Anyway, I, I think it's cool when you put out an album because someone could go and buy 10 bucks for an album. And, you know, back in the day, people would spend a lot on a full CD, like, mm -hmm. you know, 15, 20 bucks, like, no, no big deal. You get excited about having more songs than just, you know, the singles. Yeah. Yeah. We actually released an album not too long ago. Did you? With that yeah. same producer. Really? It's called Face Paint. And so that's on iTunes and everything. Oh, cool. But um, we're just releasing singles on top of that. It's now. hard because, like, <laughs> we finished the album and we already had this new batch of songs we're really excited about. So it's like yeah. we pushed that for a bit and then we're already like. You're like, I got more songs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> with songwriting, it's like, I don't know, you get better the more you do. It's like a muscle. So it, we have all these really good songs that, like, we wish we would have recorded beforehand. Yeah. Were, but the old songs were kind of over at this point. I mean, people still really like them, but it's just. You guys are over it. We, we want to play these new ones, yeah. you know? Yeah. We're so psyched on them. Well, that's good. I mean, it's it's all part of the being creative. You know, you have new ideas, and you want to keep putting them out there. Mm -hmm, but sure. I'm sure the other albums are really good, too. So people should definitely check that out. And uh, what's the name of it again? Face Paint. Face Paint. Yeah. Why is it called Face Paint? So we had a song on it called Face Paint. Title track, yeah. Yeah. Nice. And so we're just like, hey, we'll call it Face Paint. Cool. It works, yeah. Nice. Yep. <laughs> Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so who out of you all is the main, like, songwriter or lyric writer? Depends on the day. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's either that I'll come up with a bass line and they'll build around it, or Chris will, you know, it's either me or Chris will start it, and then we'll bring it to each other, and then we'll consult Jaden, and he'll write a drum part about it. Yeah. And then it kind of just builds on top of it from there, and we shoot ideas at each other. But, yeah, it's usually me or Chris who starts it off. I kind of Ringo with the songwriting. So they put it on the fridge, and they're like, awesome, you wrote a song. And then, you know, they, we use their songs. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Well, I mean, it's cool to start with the bass because you just probably have, like, your whole groove going. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? And then you put the lyrics over, and do you ever just come up with, like, a poem sort of thing? And you're like, let's make this into a song. I wish I did. No? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so jealous of people that do that, but for me, it's like, I always find the music first and then I put lyrics to them because really? the music's like really what speaks to me. Um, and you also play an instrument, right? Yeah. So I play guitar, you play so. guitar at the same time. So that's mm -hmm. probably also part of that. Yeah. The reason for that. For sure. Because you have to have the chords and then you're going to 
put the lyrics over it. Exactly. But there's also a lot of people who write where they just come up with the lyrics and melody and don't know how to play guitar and don't mm -hmm. know how to do Definitely. any of that stuff and they have to go to people to get help with it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a different world to me. <laughs> I can't grasp that. I've tried Seems that a, a couple harder. times. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's just so funny because you're all brothers. And so you were like, you know, I'm going to play the drums. And you're like, I'm going to play guitar. And you play bass. So normally you would have one of the older brothers maybe like start playing drums. And then the younger brother would be like, I want to play drums too. That's literally what happened. Oh, really? <laughs> he okay. started drums first. I he wasn't that lessons. good at it. He wasn't that good. <laughs> uh, but whatever he learned from his lessons, he would come home and teach me because we had this crappy yard sale kit. So I would learn drums on it, and then he'd be like, nah, I want to get chicks, so he's going to play guitar. And so he'd take guitar <laughs> lessons. And then meanwhile, I'm like, totally I'm, fine with, bus, I'm fine with drums, yeah. I guess. So, yeah, I stuck towards that. Nice. You were, like, um, taking the lessons from him, and then you started playing even yeah. better than he did. Yeah, way better. Yeah. Hopefully I am. And you were, like, four years old in a diaper? like <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Almost, actually. He was, like, I was really short. He was, I like, still seven. Am, so. Seven or six, yeah. yeah. Wow. Sounds like... That's your talent. It's a, it's a bit. It's been a minute for sure. Well, we have to take a break, but we will be right back <laughs> with the awesome rock band, the Daphne. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying my interview with the rock band, the Daphne. Keep watching by clicking here. <laughs> 